Let me tell you, the more I play this bit game mode, the more I try this mode over here in Modern Warfare Deuce and Half, the more similarities I'm noticing with this mode and X Defiant. Check this out. I see the sniper glint. I get behind cover. I was actually on the ground, and he still hits me with the left trigger, right trigger. Check this out. Fast walk from his secondary left trigger, right trigger, and it's over, bro. Like, look, look, yeah, you mad as hell. Good morning. <laughs> I, was, I was pissed when he hit that shot. Behind cover. That's straight out of X Defiant. Check this out. Shotgun, line him up perfectly. Got another hit mark with the shotty. He's doing the float and directional bunny hop in front of me. Look at how hard this noob is sweat, man. Look at this sweaty ass try hard nerd, bro. After I hit the second hit marker, though, after I got that second hit marker, I was just like, just kill me, bro. Because clearly in this moment, the game don't want me to kill this dude. This sweaty ass nerd. The game don't want me to kill him, bro. Just, just kill me so i can spawn in and hopefully get a kill maybe the game will let me get a kill on the other dude but i'll tell you this man i was like i'm something with that shotgun i'm noticing it's extremely inconsistent now i know i'm not a big shotgun guy over here in modern warfare deuce and half i heard a lot of people complain about the shotties over here but i'm noticing with this shotty because i've been using it a little bit since i unlocked it it is extremely inconsistent like i'm getting hit markers at point blank range with it when i'm hitting them with most of my pellets like it's a perfect shot perfect hit fire with the shotgun point blank range and i'll get hit markers and i'm seeing people like just dot me from stupid range like way farther than you seen that when i got that first hit marker on that intro clip way farther than that dudes are one shot kill me with the shotgun no damage taken anywhere else one shot kill all day every day and there's a few times where i'm getting one shot kills at some decent range with this but other times like hit markers a point blank range i don't know man the, the spaz 12 they brought over i don't remember what they call it the reclaimer or something in this game it's uh it feels pretty inconsistent in my opinion but i guess we got a little bit of good news since my last video not every game well some still but not every game i'm freezing in these modern warfare deuce and half multiplayer lobbies like they got this door fixed in three minutes though right charlie intel out here charles intel out here trying to fluff them up a little bit, talking about five minutes and shit. Now, you got to be honest about these motherfuckers, man. Five minutes. What you talk about five minutes, man? It didn't take them no five minutes. It took them three minutes to fix the store. Season four reloaded, launched. The game was broken hours after the, the update went live. Talking about five minutes. Oh, nah, they fixed the store in three minutes. And check that out, man. We got a nice little kill with the shotgun there. We actually get a nice little triple, I think. Or it might have even been a, a four piece. I know it was at least a triple with that with that spaz 12 that reclaimer shoddy i'm telling you man the shotgun inconsistent as hell in this game look at this bunny hop in there man he comes around just, they just float around these corners and they come out shooting though and then like they don't miss bullets either though man i'm telling you bro it's like, the matchmaking in call of duty is just awful by itself but the type of players we have on these games amplifies that matchmaking and just makes it a toxic cesspool of bullshit and frustration man rage but speaking of matchmaking i'm actually having a decent amount of people trying to tell me lately trying to tell me to get back on modern warfare deuce and half because apparently they toned down the matchmaking and look at this bunny hop in there man they're trying to tell me that they toned down the matchmaking the skill based matchmaking is not as thick as usual it's not strangling you when you get on the game and you know i've been playing a little bit more like i've been taking a, a good long break from this game just from call of duty in general just playing the old ones a little bit but just play taking a break from call of duty and other than my two first games back after that long break my first game that you guys seen on bitvela here in my video the other day and my first game on the new map incline other than those two first games dude i see no difference in the matchmaking it's still the same old sweats the same old cringy play styles it's still the same old bullshit the people that are telling me that the matchmaking has been toned down listen man in my opinion we don't have any chance of the matchmaking getting toned down at all unless microsoft chooses to do that and if they do choose to do that we wouldn't see a change like that until a new launch like with black ops 6 we're not going to see them just change it mid modern warfare deuce nav it's, i don't think it works that way man we ain't going to see it until at least black ops 6 but the people that are telling me this like either they got to be weaker on the stick so they don't actually feel skill-based matchmaking. They, they don't know what it actually is like. So this is like they're, you know, subliminally, it's just kind of like a placebo type thing. They think that they tone them down because they got a couple of easy lobbies here and there. Maybe they got shit on a bunch of games in a row and then they got a couple of easy lobbies and they're like, oh, look, man, 
they tone down the matchmaking. Or it's got to be people with agenda, right? Just trying to get people away from X Defiant back on Call of Duty. Or just people who don't know how matchmaking works. Like, when you play... This is why I always said to these people, they were telling me, Dude, I'm telling you, X Defiant has skill-based matchmaking, man. I'm, I'm telling you, like, no, dude, it doesn't. Like, yes, a lot of lobbies over there are sweaty as hell. But it does not have skill-based matchmaking. And it doesn't have the matchmaking that Call of Duty has. Not even close. And you can tell that just from the caliber of players from each lobby that you're in. You can see that. When you've been playing these first-person shooters for long enough, you can see the difference. When you're playing in these games and you're seeing just how it suffocates you, each individual player on the other team, how they play, their play style, the strats that they use, the guns that they use, the perks that they use, everything. When you think about the entire situation, man, when you've been playing long enough, you could tell when you're in a true skill-based matchmaking lobby and when it's not skill-based matchmaking, but you just got unlucky and you're in there with a gang of sweats. But you can't tell me that Call of Duty isn't chasing X to find a little bit with this bit game mode here on Bitvella. We've seen Call of Duty do this so much over the years. It used to be Call of Duty, they set the trends. Now everybody was trying to be Call of Duty. And then Call of Duty just kind of lost its way over the years and is trying to copy everybody else. It's trying to beat every other game. And playing this game mode, I mean, you're getting shot way around corners. Like, I know that still is a problem in Call of Duty. It just, for some, it seems to be worse in this game mode, man. And on this map, getting shot around corners. You know, the graphics, right? Like, I'm not saying, you know, I'm not saying, you guys know I'm not an extra fine hater, man. I've been out here soldiering because we need to see this game succeed. But it doesn't have the best graphics, man. Come on, let's just, you're lying to yourself if you try to tell me that the game looks like a, a game that was released in 2024. It really doesn't. Like, it's not god-awful looking. It's just not, you know, it's, it's not up there. It's not where it should be, in my opinion. But for a free-to-play game, I'm not complaining. But still, you know, the graphics are just not there. And you got the whole floating bunny hop. You got the directional bunny hop like you do over here in this bit mode. Yeah, they're trying to chase a little bit of that X to find over here in the Kakaduki, man. I think that shit is hilarious. Like, people really see X to find as a straight up threat to Call of Duty. I've been calling these people dumb since I first started hearing this shit. It's just funny as hell to me. Like, yes, X Defiant has a lot of similarities to Call of Duty, and people who are tired of Call of Duty's bullshit will go over to X to find, especially because it's free to play. They have nothing to lose. They'll go over there play it it doesn't have skill based matchmaking they'll probably get lucky find some decent lobbies with a better connection and they'll have fun with the game it's very bare bones content like we got to give this game more time man i've been saying this for a while now we got to give this game more time get more content in there give them time to try to fix some of these problems that are in the game with the hit reg the net code the bad spawns other problems that we see in x to find give them time to iron this out tweak it patch it tune it a little bit and it could be it still is a nice little alternative to call of duty hopefully they stay on it though hopefully mark doesn't lose the drive he's got right now and stays on the game but it's not a true threat to call of duty man you want to you want to play uh, you know a close quarters 6v6 shooter like this you want streaks and all that you run it over to call of duty man call of duty got the kills the the streaks alone is going to keep so many people on call of duty because nobody's got what call of duty's offering when it comes to something like that man you're rewarded for streaking in the game and your streaks like that's why everybody call of duty players they always gravitate to call of duties that had great streaks back in the day modern warfare 2 black ops 2 black ops 1 possibly the most iconic streak loadouts we've ever seen with the chopper gunner dogs and sr-71 blackbird call of duty players like good kill streaks they're not it doesn't matter how good another game is they're not going to leave call of duty because it's got streaks in order for a game to truly be a threat to cod it needs to have kill streaks it needs to have good kill streaks because people want to be rewarded call of duty players want to be rewarded for ripping ass but anyways that's all i got for this one just an, an og commentary don't really have too much to talk about but i kind of felt like just turning on the mic and talking to y'all for a few minutes i hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you think in the comment section and i will talk to you on that next one